everybody. It's about 8.30, and I'm lying in bed, and this seems to be the uh, the morning, uh, you know, established spots now. One of the babies is there. So the babies is there, on the perch. Keith is there, in the closet. So, uh, three of us are in the room, and one of us is very close to the room, just outside the open door. And I think both of the kids may have been, both of the babies may have been on the bed at night. Not sure. Um, when I went to bed, everyone, again, everybody tries to figure out where they're going to sleep. But by morning, we're all uh, settled. Uh, it's a nice day. I think I am going to make the day trip. Uh, I, the drive will be good. I want to pick up that. I want to get that mini done. And I want to meet my contractor if I can. And kind of push him, just really push him to get get started on um, on finishing this house. I did talk to my father last night uh, in in the other country. I haven't talked to them in a while. Hello, everybody. I'm in the car. I um uh, got babies into their room. Had to explain to everybody. Had to promise everybody that I was going to stay clear. And by the time I got everything together, I packed up my backpack and for the day trip and everything, got my meds, you know, uh, down to the, uh, the Pacific app. And uh, now I'm at the Tim's drive-through. I've heard they have a um. Beyond Meat. So let's see if they actually have it. Morning, Peter. Hello, do you have the uh, Beyond Meat uh, breakfast uh, sandwich? I heard about it. Sorry, which breakfast? Uh, 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 Beyond Meat. You know the, uh, the, the, the plant... Uh, the plant-based one? Yeah. You have it? Yeah. Oh, okay, can I have a combo, please? What's the drink? Uh, large French vanilla, please. Okay. And it comes with hash browns? Yeah. Okay. And it is uh, plant-based, right? I'm sorry? It is vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want. A99, yeah? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I have to keep saying... A couple of times a year I've asked for, you know, and, I keep, and I've said no no meat, no sausage, no bacon, whatever, and I get the, uh, the McMuffin or the, you know, Tim Muffin or whatever it is, and there's bacon in it, <laughs> you know? So I, I say a few times, but anyway, I'm going to eat and drive. Okay, bye for now. Hey everybody, um, I'm here at the uh, service center in uh, London for a pit stop. I just have to get some gas. And after the last, uh, you know, taping at the Thames, I got my uh, plant burger, and you guys heard me ask several times. It's plant, it's plant, it's, you know, vegetarian. Eh. <laughs> so, either they've done an amazing job of making this thing look, smell, and taste like meat, or it is meat. Because I, <laughs> I thought I made it myself quite clear. But, you know, I haven't eaten meat myself in a long time. So... It smelled as soon as I opened the window, and, and, and as soon as I got it in and I started driving, I'm like, it smells like meat. And then I, I, I tasted a little bit of it. Either they've done a very good job, or there was a mix-up or a mistake, or she didn't hear me, or I don't know what. I think it was meat, you know. I haven't eaten meat, I haven't eaten pork, or, you know, beef in 20, 25 years. So I just pulled the thing off. It's okay, I pulled the thing off and I ate the, uh, the egg part, you know. Uh, so there, it looks, look at the color the plant is smelling I don't think it's plant uh, I don't know if, they, if it is plant you know kudos to uh, Tim's because he made it look taste and smell just like meat amazing job anyway I gotta uh, gas up and then uh, uh, keep going bye for now okay here I am at the storage garage just pulled in in the Pacifica and we're gonna unlock the door and get the uh, get the keys Look at the keys, yes. I'm gonna get the mini out. Okay, one second here. Hello, cars! Uh, don't talk to cars, they're not, they're not cats. I gotta remember myself that these cars, are, you know, I almost didn't see these cars again, but here they are! The whole collection, you know. So now we gotta get this little one in. Oh shit, the, uh, the tire, the wheels. Uh, I told my, uh, the, oh, there it is. Gotta get a. I gotta get the the, the winter tires out. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotta do all this. Then put that one in here, and take this one for the. Uh, this is about two hours work. The thermostat housing thing to keep the car from overheating. Kind of symbolic too. <laughs> With overheating too, I need coolant. Anyway, wait for now.
Uh, I'll talk to you again in, in, this, in the other town. Hello, everybody. It's me, the lucky professor. I'm back. And I'm here in this little town with my friend, uh, who is also my uh, contractor. And we had a very nice lunch and a very nice conversation. And I'm just showing you the town. Because this is the town where I would like to spend more time. It's a very nice little town. I think maybe 40, 50,000 uh, population or so. I'll check on this and get back to you. But, uh, and this is the main street, you know. It's, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, southwestern Ontario, but I won't name the town for now. There is a river over there. Uh, there's some cafes. And it's, it's a very, you know, friendly, pleasant little town, you know. So I'm thinking, and I've said this before in the podcast, part of my return, this whole, you know, projected return of mine, a part of the plan is to spend more time here uh, and, you know, get this house, get a house if we can finish the other house, you know, and uh, use that money and I uh, buy something in, uh, you know, a residential area in this town. Um, and I'm showing you this is a very nice town. I can walk. You know, the, the, uh, there is a house. Uh, you know, I will not be able to buy this house because, uh, you know, it's going to take a while to finish this, uh, my current house. And, you know, with the real estate market these days, stuff doesn't sit for weeks. So, uh, but this is going to be my my. My friend is uh, driving me while the uh, mini, the, it's ready, but he's just getting it, you know, the finishing touches. So my friend is driving me to have a look from outside at a house that I saw online. And uh, I've discussed with my friends, my other friends, how that whole looking at houses online, it's better than looking for other shit online. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a more positive kind of, you know, direction. So... Um, there is a house that I sent to a couple of my other friends, the Catbury your friends, and they both like this house. I won't be buying this, obviously, but something like this. So this is the goal. And uh, my friend is just driving me uh, past it. So there is a uh, river there, you know, and... Um, when my father had uh, lost his driver's license, uh, you know, long story, you know, when he, was, when he was over 80, he was practicing. He took uh, lessons because he had to take an over 80s uh, driver's test. And he was taking lessons in this area because the, uh, the uh, drive test uh, place was not too far away. And uh, I liked this area. There's a, you know, it's not too far from town. It's near the river. It's near shops, you know. And uh, a lot of people practice parallel parking on the streets. Because <laughs> you got all these uh, young people mostly uh, learning how to drive. So anyway, we're going to have a look at this house from outside. And I'll just show it to you um, as a kind of a... See, this is the kind of houses we have here. You know, these are the older style. I've had houses like this in Niagara. These kind of uh, older uh, two stories. Uh, but... Um, what uh, what I'm looking at now, the house that we're just going to see from outside, and I'm not going to, as I said, this is just to get an idea. This is just a, I remember this very street. My father was parallel parking, <laughs> trying to parallel park on the street, you know. We were practicing. But this is a, um, a very nice neighborhood, and that's the whole thing. I've told you guys before that uh, the uh, where my current house is doesn't have this kind of neighborhood. Look, there's a sidewalk. I need sidewalks, you know, and I need street lights. Uh, and uh, these, see that bungalow there? That's like from the 60s. I remember those elevated wrenches. Um, and the house that we're just going to look at from outside is um, is a split level. Um, I think it was from 1968. And those were very popular back in the 60s, you know. So, um, in my cat people friends really like oh my god that's a beautiful house you know uh, so you know there it is you know um, my uh, I sent the link uh, of the size to my friends is that that's a double garage I actually thought it was single you know so um, I uh, I won't show the sign or anything but but this is the house it's a split level from 1968 it's got a two-car garage you know um, and it's got a patio at the back which uh, my both of my friends said I could convert into a catio, just enclose it for the cats. And you see that there's a big kind of window in the front, to kind of those, uh, you know, it's not actually a bay window because it's got uh, different units. But uh, that's where the kids 
could sit and look out, you know, and um, you know, look very nice houses nearby. And even if you know I'm not particularly friendly with the neighbors, they're there, and I can, you know, I could be like out washing my car in the driveway and wave to them, and, you know. So, um, not this house, but something like this. So this is the goal, and the asking price of this house is about what I would like to get from, you know, hopefully from my own house. So the goal now, and my friend is going to help me, is to get the maximum amount from my house and buy something like this, you know. So uh, not this one, but this is the uh, template, something like this. So anyway, this is the Nutty Professor. This is, you know, part of the return uh, uh, process. So thanks to my friend again. I have talked to before about uh, how much my friend has mean to me and includes my, my contractor friend and, you know, and I'm coming back! The Nutty Professor is coming back and the uh, Nutty Professor lives in a small town in a split level house with his three children. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye for now. Hello everybody, I'm here at my house, and I don't know if it shows clearly in the videos, but the the, uh, the lake is right there, just at the end of that uh, street. You can actually see it quite well from the um, uh, backyard and from the um, uh, balcony upstairs. So this is my house, I have shown this before, but I'm going to show it again, just as a sort of a, you know, comparison. And yeah, that's my mini. Um, it uh, looks a little smaller from outside because this is from the front. It's gonna need for sale. We're gonna need to, you know, my contractor and I were talking about this. Uh, we're gonna need to get it painted so he's, he'll find someone and I'll pay the, uh, you know, uh, what it costs. Um, but just somebody to paint over the mold. I had it painted four or five years ago, but because we're by the lake, I guess the moisture, it gets uh, kind of moldy, you know? So, um, this is the back. And, uh, you know, the, um, the deck has to be redone because when it was flooded, uh, we opened it up to try to get out of the water to turn it off, but it didn't work. Uh, it has badly needs a paint, you know. And it's quite, uh, it's quite big at the back, you know. Um, so it's, it's like a, a two-story at the back. Um, it just needs a cleaning up. It just needs a, a paint. And then there's the water. There's the lake is right there. This old uh, Lake Erie, you know. And this is the backyard. There's a nice big tree here. Um, so once finished... My house will actually be fancier inside than that house or the other houses in town that I'll be looking at. Um, because we've got this uh, very stylish uh, uh, spiral staircase going up, focal point of the house. And we've got this big loft area. This is the dining room. Uh, new hardwood floors. All of this was after the flooding, after the insurance settlement. Um, and if I'd given it to the insurance people, uh, contractors, it would have been done in three months. Uh, but then my friend was doing a lot of extras, and he's a friend. I could I couldn't say no to him. So uh, yeah, I took the cash settlement, and you know <laughs> the cash is you know he's pretty much been doing it on his own you know thing now because that uh, and he's bought some of the material. I bought some of the material to split it up. But I bought all the hardwood floors. I bought the tiles. Uh, you know uh, I bought the light fixtures. Um, I bought the paint. Uh, he bought the drywall, and he bought which is expensive. He bought the drywall, and he bought the um, um, insulation. So uh, the next step is he's going to do this, you know. And I bought the cabinets, all of that in my share of the insurance settlement from the flooding. So I bought the insurance. Uh, I bought the uh, cabinets three and a half years ago. So now uh, uh, he's got, the next step is I think he's going to uh, he's going to install these. We're going to have an island, you know. And then we're going to have the um, the stove there and the fridge there and the dishwasher. And we were discussing today. He wants the stove there because he doesn't think that uh, the the uh, dishwasher should be next to the um, stove. It should be next to the uh, uh, fridge. So I said, as long as nobody complains, when they come to see it, I don't want people to go, oh, why is the stove next to the family room or something like that. So, uh, but, uh, so we discussed that today over lunch and he's going, you know, um, I'll show you at some point. I've got uh, before pictures. I mean, this was all gutted. This was, you know, there was the, uh, the insurance company people, the damaged people, they removed all the previous water that was done to the studs and there was, you know, there was no flooring here, you know? So all of this, we've got new hardwood flooring, uh, paint was done last year, um, 
uh, he did this feeling it was a popcorn, one half they had done, one half he did. So, um, and the tile is all new, I selected this on sale, you know, um, and he installed it, ceramic tile. And I bought the uh, vanities, you know, on sale in Toronto, uh, but now we need faucets. So I'm going to buy them. I think his advice is good, just to stretch it out, you know. So I'll buy uh, one faucet at a time. So I need to buy a kitchen sink. So that's going to be my project for the week. Uh, kitchen sink, uh, and it's going to go under the sink before it was in the corner. It's going to go under the window before it was in the corner. So anyway, and uh, you know, I think this is one. Yes, the faucet is still there. It's one of the faucets that didn't move. I had this installed, by the way, after I bought the house. It didn't have a shower downstairs, you know. And my mother was having trouble going up the uh, star, star, uh, spiral staircase uh, to the uh, shower upstairs. So I had my current, that's how I became, you know, I was the first job I had done by him and we became friends. And he's a car person. So uh, he put a, he installed this here. And I'm going to have a stackable washer dryer there. Uh, and I've still got the money for, you know, for the appliances. I have to go. Now, all of this stuff, my books and everything, we'll put them in the garage or we'll take them to the other garage or we'll put them in storage to clear it up for, you know, when the house is uh, uh, put on the market, you know. And there is a bed and there is some furniture, so we can stage it a little bit, you know. So, and then upstairs, I think I showed you before, you know. So, upstairs is just about done. There's not a lot, you know. Now, now, my tasks, I have to get the faucets, I have to get the kitchen sink, I have to arrange for railing. So he's going to give me the measurements, or I'll get somebody, so I'm going to have to match this railing on that side, you know. Uh, before we had a half wall, but, but I want to have a railing now, you know, especially since I'm not planning on living in it, otherwise the twins would be living. Would have been flying down off the second to the dining room. And then this is the um, bathroom, again, need faucet. This was there before, you know, uh, it just needs to be reinstalled and cleaned up, you know, the kind of you know, jacuzzi uh, shower unit. Toilets have to be put back in, you know. But pretty much, you know, everything else is done here, and I've got, you know, um, so the hardwood floor is, she's done all the trim. There's not a lot to be done upstairs, you know. Uh, and then these, uh, these, this was a divider between, there was no bathroom. Uh, there was a bathroom, but it was open. It was just a toilet and a shower. So they had put, the, the previous people had put that as a divider. There was no walls here. And there's that half wall there, so you couldn't see up into the bathroom from downstairs. But it was all open. So my friend was doing all of those extras, putting that room in at the same cost. So, and again, as I said, he was my friend, so I, I, I had to give it to him, you know. So, and then from the balcony, you can see the lake. So this is the house, and I, you know, I'm hoping to get about the same amount of money as, as those places. Um, those are more family houses. This is more of a stylish beach house, but year-round. There's got a furnace fully insulated now. He's done, you know, extra insulation and everything, you know. So, you know, the, and there is a very nice little beach town, maybe a couple of kilometers that way, you know, uh, along the water, you know, in summer. It's very nice, you know. So this is a different kind of prep proposition. This is not so much a family house as it is a, you know, a retired couple or semi-retired couple or, you know, a childless couple, you know. Um, so um, it, it's going to be quite stylish. And I've got some very nice chandeliers and fixtures and all of that in this whole open area. So it's a completely different thing. But I think for me and my family and where I am right now for the kids, um, I think the town will work much better. It's very isolated here and it's very quiet and dark at night and, you know, and I, I would be like all the time looking where are the twins. <laughs> the twins will be like all over the place, you know, chasing each other over down the stairs, you know. So anyway, you know, we need a, a slightly more family-oriented house. And that's the furnace down there. The new furnace is not working. He's going to get the people to come and um, and fix it, and he's, he's pushing them because you know um, he hasn't been able to work for a while because the furnace hasn't been working. And this is new. We didn't have a trap door before. You had to crawl all the way under the crawl space to get to it. So anyway, uh, this is this is what uh, this is a project. This house has to be finished, sold, take this money, and buy something like the one I showed you today. That's the goal. <sighs> It's just hope it works, you know. Uh, so, uh, and, you know, one step at a time. So now I've got to go look for faucets. Okay, heading home to the kids. Bye for now. It's the car, and I suppose it's a sign that I'm coming back 
but I'm not quite back yet because I'm not going to actually dry it. You know, that's the, this date, I'm like, just wash that, but it'll dry while I drive, you know? So this, uh, that's not quite like me, but anyway. So, but uh, it'll, you know, it, I waxed it, I washed it, the dirt is off in the, the, uh, the summer, uh, we all are looking clean again. So anyway, I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to head to the garage quickly. I'm uh, going to get the tires, um, I'm going to lock them up in the car uh, and do all that stuff, and then... See if there's something else I need from the Pacifica, and then I'm going to head home with this. Okay, bye for now. So far, so good. At least I have a semi-clean car to drive. Clean, but not dry car to drive. Bye for now. Okay, I'm here at the garage. A couple of things to do. Just see what I've left in the Pacifica. Maybe start the Cadillac. Lock up the tires. Do all that stuff. So anyway, uh, so there. Hello, cars. Don't talk to cars. Don't talk to cars. No, not cats. Not cats. Cadillac! Pacifica. Roll Mercedes. Corvette. Wash. Head count. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I think there's supposed to be five here. Good. Okay. <laughs> do the little things I have to do here and then um, head back. I just uh, got a very nice email from my friend, uh, the cat rescuer one, the local one, about the last uh, podcast, and, you know, the cat food and stuff like that. You know. And she said, as my friends have been saying, it's nice to see me out in the boat, you know. So anyway, uh, bye for now. Uh, got to do a couple of things here and then head back. Yeah. I guess this is Nelly Professor's return to normal, you know. Car stuff, <laughs> car collection, back to the car collection stuff. Anyway, wait for now. I'm here at the um, uh, McDonald's in uh, Brentford, Ontario, and I just got a filet of fish meal. So I'm going to put this thing back into this uh, stand, and I'm going to get back on the highway, and I'm going to eat while I think you're allowed to eat while driving, you know. And I like the uh, I like the, the French fries from McDonald's. So anyway, uh, this is my supper. I'm gonna eat and drive. I don't want to waste time here because the uh, babies have been alone for a long while. Well, now, why? Is, what is this person doing? Why, they, why is he? Why is he turning right from the? He or she turning from right from the left lane? You know? Anyway, bye for now. Oops. Day five, I guess. Clear. Had a day trip. You know, I guess it's good news that my contractor is, uh, um, and he wants me to buy things, you know, start one at a time, like a faucet, and just to kind of keep me busy, and you know, uh, the, the kitchen sink and the things that I have to do, tasks that I have to do. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe tomorrow, day after, I'm going to go to Canadian Tire and Home Depot, and yes, good idea, you know, so I'm going to start doing that. So anyway, from the four of us, so from Agita... From one baby here, sniffing my backpack, and two baby here, kind of semi-hiding, you know. So from the four of us, home and safe, you know, day five. It's going to keep going and going, you know. Uh, so, um, bye for now. Okay, bye from the four of us. So from one baby... Two baby? Agita? And myself. I guess it was a successful trip. Met contractor, did all of that, got the mini fixed, brought the mini back. And um, I'm a little tired and, you know, I'm, I'm still weary from the previous, you know, uh, journey and return and I'm still returning. But, you know, just thinking about the, the move there in the house and all of that stuff. It's helping. It's kind of step right direction, you know. So from the four of us, and you know, I don't know. I've got to edit and, and post. I don't know how much of the uh, footage I'm going to be able to use and how much editing I can do. But you know, and I did play some of the songs in the on the radio. I don't in the. I don't know how much of that I can include. But I keep thinking of that um, of the line from the Leonard Cohen song which I played for my friend who's a big um, uh, Cohen fan. But uh, I keep thinking of that line, love is the only me uh, mechanism of survival, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so from the four of us, one, two, running that way, running that way, running that way, <laughs> two, three, and daddy makes four. All four of us, home and safe. Bye for now. See you next podcast.